Hey kids, thanks for joining me today. I am here at the number line fraction race with my friend, Mr. Robot. We are racing each other. While we do a few practice runs, can you guys learn about fractions on a number line? Great. Okay, Mr. Robot, on your mark. Get set. Hey, I didn't say go yet. To start off, let's review some concepts about fractions. Here we have a fraction of 1 fourth. A fraction is a part of a whole or a part of a group. The numerator is the number on top and shows the parts we are talking about. In this case, it is the one green part of the circle. The number on the bottom is the denominator. The denominator tells you how many equal parts there are in all. This circle has four equal parts, so the denominator is four. One fourth of the circle is colored green. Here is a number line. A number line is pretty easy to draw, and you will soon see that they can look a lot like a ruler or a tape measure. Up top we have the fraction we need to represent on the number line. We need to divide the line into the correct number of pieces. The denominator tells us the total amount of pieces. What is the denominator in our fraction? The 4 is the denominator, so we need to divide this into 4 pieces. The 0 marks the start of the number line. We start at 0. The number 1 is on the far right. Why do you think there is a 1 there? The 1 represents the one whole or all four pieces of the fraction above. We could also say that it is 4 fourths. 4 fourths is the same or equal to 1, so that is why we have the 1 here to show we have reached one whole on the number line. This number line is broken into four equal parts. From here to here is one fourth. From here to here we have two parts, which is two fourths. From here to here we have three parts, or three fourths. From here to here we have four parts, or all of them, which is four fourths, or one, like we just talked about. Something very important we need to remember is when we are counting the fractions on a number line, we are not counting the lines. We are counting the parts in between. The jumps we did with the curved lines shows the parts of the fraction. We now know where 1 fourth is on the number line. It is this part right here. That was great! Let's look at a problem to see if we can solve it. The problem says what fraction is shown on the number line. One way to start this is by finding the denominator in the fraction. Remember the denominator is the total amount of parts, and in order to find that, we need to count all the parts. We start at zero and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We counted eight parts. All that is left to do is count the parts up to the green star. Counting again, we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have both the numerator and the denominator, and the fraction shown is 7 eighths. Great job, guys! Let's take a look at another problem to see how we do. The problem says what fraction is missing. In this problem, we know a lot of things already. We know the denominator is 5, so that means there are 5 total parts. You may have figured it out already, but let's count each part on the number line to find the missing fraction. We count 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths. We have gotten to the missing fraction. What is it? 4 fifths. The missing fraction is 4 fifths. Amazing! We have one last one to do, which will require you to draw your own number line. The problem says, using this model, draw the fraction on a number line. Take a minute and draw this fraction on a number line, then we will go over it together. Did you get it? Let's do it together. We have the start to our number line. The zero is where we start, and we have one at the end because we are talking about just one whole shape. The denominator is what tells us how many total parts there are. If we count each part of the rectangle, we see there are four total parts, so we divide the number line into four parts. 
Looking at the rectangle, two parts are colored green, so that is our numerator. We start counting. One, two. We now have reached the two on the number line. The fraction is two-fourths. We have shown where two-fourths is on a number line. Great job! Another cool fact is you can notice that two-fourths is halfway between zero and one, which tells us two-fourths is the same as one-half. Awesome! I am going to win, Mr. Robot. I just need to get a little faster. Whoa! Okay, maybe I will win next time, Mr. Robot. See you guys later. Goodbye. Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose, though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh-oh. Ah!